You know what, it's uh, not just us humans who've been thrown off by this excessive heat that came so early this year. News 8's Lauren Zakalik is on the creepy crawly beat and today explains why you might be seeing and hearing and feeling more insects than usual. It's usually a sure sign that summer is ending. That school's around the corner and fall is on the way. So what we call the dog days of summer, you know, the really hot time of the summer. But this year, the strong sound of cicadas has filled our North Texas neighborhoods for months already. Cicadas are just one of the insects that have been thrown off by the intense heat wave that started this spring. It just suddenly got really hot. And by Laura the Miller is with the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Office. When it's hot, everything happens more quickly with insects. So. Including the <laughs> beloved chigger. <laughs> the fabulous chigger. The fabulous chigger. Because of the early excessive heat, chiggers are out in full force. You're, you're seeing rapid reproduction with chiggers. So they're, they're, they're going through their life cycle more quickly. Their populations can build up. They're pesky um, mites that leave long long-lasting itchy bites. Calls to her office about chiggers are at a 28-year high. Okay, so I am amongst the unlucky ones who have already gotten a chigger bite this summer. I was out on assignment. I realized it had happened, and I got to tell you, it was super uncomfortable for probably two weeks. But perhaps more uncomfortable, scorpion stings. Kind of a cross between a hammer hitting you and something real pain, real sharp pain. Linda Bramer knows the pain well. It was pretty traumatic at the time. She shuddered when we told her scorpions are also showing up more because of the heat. Really hot. Scorpions normally stay outside, but when it's really hot, they sometimes go into buildings more than they normally would. So the heat really is affecting sure. all sorts of stuff in nature. Sure, absolutely. Oh, yeah. It is really hot. Yeah. I guess we can do a study on us. <laughs> We're all just dying out here. Trying to stay cool in Fort Worth, Lawrence Akalik, Channel 8 News. A wild and